Anonymous News. As the world turns, what's new has our full attention. Join us to post what mainstream media will not. The truth. If you do not want this read do you click links or read below. Thanks. USA pushed. Australian corrupt new laws to target WikiLeaks March 27, 2012. Thanks to Jew liar Gillard the American puppet is doing whatever the USA says for the Australian government. We will soon be up to date with all American illegal laws it's forced upon its people to oppress them. As Julian Assange tilts at the Senate, new laws have been passed that will make it harder for organizations like WikiLeaks to operate legally and there are more to come. Writes Matthew Da Silva the Labour government is tightening up Australian law in areas that will have a direct impact on organizations such as WikiLeaks. Only the Greens are challenging the new bills in Parliament, and they are receiving scant media attention. There's a new extradition law that will make it easier for foreign governments to request extradition of Australians and a new spying law that broadens ASEO's reach, which has been dubbed the WikiLeaks Amendment. And finally there's a bill that will make it easier to retain digital data for Australians, and easier also to pass that information to overseas law enforcement agencies. Senator Scott Ludlam, the Green spokesperson for communications, told new Matilda that the Attorney General wants all digital records for all people for all time to be tracked and recorded so that intelligence agencies, law enforcement agencies, and welfare agencies can mine the data. The new extradition law contains elements that make it easier for foreign governments to request that people be extradited from Australia. The new federal law also enables people to be prosecuted in Australia for alleged crimes overseas. The law was foreshadowed in November last year by Jeffrey Butch, the, the United States Ambassador to Australia, who told reporter Ann Davies of the Sydney Morning Herald when she asked him about WikiLeaks that, We will have to see whether there is an offence against any person, and Australia will have to evaluate its own extradition obligations. The new law passed last month. Adam Fletcher of the Castan Center for Human Rights Law at Monash University expressed surprise in a recent blog post that the law's passage received no media coverage. It was passed in the aftermath of the infamous Labour leadership showdown and when all eyes were on the car for Canberra drama, Fletcher wrote. The law would enable the government to prosecute WikiLeaks Julian Assange if he was living in Australia and had been charged with a crime in the United States. Fletcher told me in a telephone interview that whatever Assange is accused of overseas must also be a criminal offence in Australia for any prosecution to take place here under the new law. On the 2nd of December 2010 Julia Gillard claimed that what Assange had done by releasing classified documents was illegal under Australia law, but this assertion was contradicted on the 16th of December 2010 by the Australian Federal Police. Two days later the United States Vice President Joe Biden labeled Assange a high-tech terrorist. It is now known that a secret grand jury has been constituted in Alexandria, Virginia, for the purpose of prosecuting Assange, your government working hard to protect, you, hum, itself, from you question mark please help, share this article with others, see links to this below, thanks. The heroic fight with us. The honest support us. The corrupt fear us. For we are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Expect us. To expose you.